Can we continue? Can you hear me, Bhagavad Dharma? Are you hearing me okay? Uh, not so clear, Maharaj. I will check. I will ask others. Alistair, 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 Chaksur Militanye Natasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Precharine Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Pastyatya Deshatarine Pancha kaupa terubhyasya kripa sindhu bhayevacha patita nam pavanebhyo vaishnavibhyo namo namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So we're recounting Prahlad Maharaj's prayers to Lord Nisringadev as described in the Srimad Bhagavatam, 7th Canto. So Prahlad Maharaj was describing to Lord Nishringadev how there is no happiness anywhere in the material world. Then Prahlad Maharaj describes his own situation. He says he was born in a family which was full of all the bad qualities, Tamagun, Rajagun. Like most of us. I don't know about you people, of course, maybe you're pure Brahmins, but I know I was born in a very inauspicious situation, a lot of passion, a lot of ignorance. So what can we say? By birth I had no no good qualities. So Prahlad Maharaj he says he says somehow or other he said I got your causeless mercy. He says to Lord Nishringadeva, I got causeless mercy. A devotee asked Srila Prabhupada, what does it mean, causeless mercy? Prabhupada said, okay, go, go ahead. So Prabhupada said, just like somebody you, you never saw before, somebody you don't know, he walks up to you and he gives you a million dollars. Million 
He said, that is causeless mercy. So the same way the pure devotee, the pure devotees, they also give causeless mercy. They come to the conditioned souls and they give them Krishna consciousness. That even though we have no qualification, we have no, there's no reason why we should get it, but somehow the, the pure devotee just wants to give mercy. So, Prahlad Maharaj describes how Lord Nishringadeva was very merciful to him. Because Lord Nishringadeva put his lotus hand on the head of Prahlad Maharaj. But Lord Nasringadev never did that to anybody else. He never did it to Brahma. He never did it to Lord Shiva. He never even did it to the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi. So Prahlad Maharaj is questioning, he said, I don't know why you gave this me why you gave this mercy to me. I had no qualification. And his Prahlad said, my birth was very inauspicious, my father was such a big demon, but still you've given me cause, you've given me this mercy. So this mercy, this can be given to anybody from any position in the material world. They may get the mercy of the Lord. Everyone can worship the Lord. It doesn't matter what position they're in. And if, if they worship the Lord, then they transcend the material nature. They come to the transcendental platform. Of course, we have to we have to perform the devotional service without getting in Maya, without falling down. We have to be steady in our devotional service. If we are one day serving Krishna and the next day in Maya and then the next day serving Krishna and the next day in Maya, then we're not going to get the real mercy of Krishna. But when we do devotional service very steadily without getting in Maya, then the, we're we're on the spirit we're on the spiritual platform, but not, we have nothing to do with the material energy. 
फिर घर आए अगड़ी बढ़ा लाने सकी छू मैं भौतिक जगत में नाम में पूरा सजी रहने हमें आध्यात्मिक स्तर में उग्द So Prahlad Maharaj he's on the spiritual platform he has he has no he's not touched by rajagun or tamagun Prahlad Maharaj jo mun hunchha wahan se adhyatmik sthir mein hunchha ra wala rajagun tamagun le kate chhudega The body may be rajagun and tamagun but the soul is not the soul is pure spiritual energy So we can understand how much we are influenced by Rajagun and Tamagun by how much we show the qualities of Rajagun and Tamagun. The sign of the Rajagun and Tamagun, the signs that will be anger, greed, lust, these things, very strong desires. क्लिनेस So Prahlad Maharaj knew that his his birth because his father was such a big demon he knew that his body must his own body Prahlad's body must be also born of passion and ignorance But Prahlad is always busy in the service of Krishna. So he does not identify with the material world. Even even in this life, even though we're living in the material world, if we're fully engaged in Krishna consciousness, our body is spiritual. It's not material. Prabhupada gives the example. Just like if you have an iron bar and you put it in the fire, then it gradually becomes like fire. So the same way, when we use our body, our mind, and senses in the service of Krishna, then the, our body, mind, and senses all become spiritual. So we see some great devotees how their bodies are not their bodies are not material at all. We know devotees like Haridas Thakur, 
He could be beaten in 22 marketplaces, but he didn't die. And devotees like Vakrishwara Pandit, he could dance for 36 hours at a time without stopping. These people, their bodies are not material, They're, they have spiritual bodies. Just like uh, the consort of Lord Nityananda, Janava Mata, she also had a spiritual body. She was serving the deity in the temple, she went into the altar, and then she, they don't know what, they never saw her again. She just disappeared, she went in the deity, she was in the altar. And she just entered in one of the deities, but you know, she nobody knew what happened, where she went. So Prahlad Maharaj talks about how the goddess of fortune, although she's the consort of the Lord. She didn't get the same mercy which Prahlad got. So that shows how the Lord takes more attention, is more attracted by the pure devotion of His devotees. And even somebody may be born in a very low family, but because they give, they give service to the Lord, the Lord appreciates it more than anything else. So Lord Brahma and Indra, the King of Heaven, other demigods, they may do service for, for the Lord, but it, it's not so pleasing to Him as the service done by the, these devotees like Prahlad. Because Prahlad has a mood of just pure unalloyed love. And the demigods, they don't have that same kind of spirit. So we see sometimes how these demigods, they get trouble sometimes, the demons, different demons come and they have trouble with them. But a devotee, even they're born in a very low family, they're they're always happy, they're always joyful. The devotee, they're always fully satisfied, they're completely peaceful in every condition. We see people like Kolaveka Sridhar, he was so poor, but
but he was fully satisfied. He didn't want anything. So this is the effect of pure devotional service, that one is completely satisfied. But the demigods, they have some trouble, they always have some kind of desires, you know, they're not fully so, they're not so pure. So this is why we see the Lord giving special mercy to Prahlad Maharaj. So Prahlad Maharaj describes how Lord, the Lord, Lord Nishingadev, he doesn't, he sees everybody equal, he doesn't make distinction. You know, we, we're conditioned souls, we make distinction. Somebody is my friend, I like him. Somebody else, oh, that person, he's my enemy, I don't like them. We think, oh, this is good, uh, yeah, this is very nice, and this, oh, no, this is very bad, I don't like that. This is, a, you know, this is the business of the mind, to make these kind of distinctions. So, Prahlad Maharaj is glorifying Lord Nishingadev. He said, you don't make these kind of distinctions. You don't see any difference between higher and lower, somebody's high class, somebody's low class, you don't make any distinction. Somebody's high class, maybe their birth, they're born in the high class aristocratic family, and somebody else is really low class, they're very poor, uncultured, no money, and so we think very low class. But Prahlad Maharaj said to Lord Nishingadev that you don't, you don't make any distinction, you give your blessings to, to everyone according to their service. The Lord doesn't consider their birth, He doesn't consider their material qualifications, but He looks at their service attitude, their mood in giving service. So, it, Sukadeva goes, oh, Prahlad Maharaj gives an example. 
Prabhupada said, he said, just like a desire tree, desire tree can give fruit, but it will give the fruits according to your desire. And now, uh, to, um Somebody desires mango, they'll get mango on the tree. Somebody desires apple, it will be apple. So Bhagavad Gita Krishna says like this, he says, as you surrender, I reward you accordingly. It's up to us, everyone's an individual. Somebody will surrender more than another person. Now somebody may be very rich and they may, they may give very small, they may surrender, they only give a little, they don't give a big donation, they just give a little donation. And somebody else is very poor, but they give, they give, you know, it doesn't seem like very much to the rich man, but to them the donation which they give was a lot of money. So we say, Krishna, he, he, he doesn't notice so much what you give, but he, take, he notices how much you're keeping for yourself. So Krishna knows how much we are surrendering. And so somebody somebody surrenders more, Krishna rewards them more. But Krishna doesn't, he's not thinking, Krishna doesn't think, oh, I like this person, I don't like that person. Krishna doesn't think, oh, this person, he's got a lot of money, he'll give me a good donation, I like him. Krishna doesn't think like that. Krishna looks at the surrender and the, the attitude, the mood in which the devotee has. So we get the results of our own activities. If we want to have a big position in the material world, Krishna can give us. And if, a do if somebody doesn't care about what position they're in in the material world, then Krishna also doesn't worry about it. Because Krishna knows this material world is just temporary, we're not here for very long. So if somebody wants to go to Swarga Loka, 
Krishna can arrange that very easily. And if one wants to just simply be a pig and stay in the, here on this planet, he can do that too. So Krishna gives us all, it's up to us, what do we want to do, where do we want to go? Krishna doesn't force us that we have to go to higher planet we or we have to go to lower planet. We get what we deserve. Of course, we should be thinking that we, we don't want to stay here in this material world, we want to get out. So we, we have to desire that, we have to want to go back to be with Krishna. If you want to go where your forefathers are, if you want to go up there where your father and your grandfather are, you can go there, find them and be with them, some other planet, material yeah. world. But if you want to go back home, back to Godhead, can also Krishna can arrange that. He's very happy to arrange that for us. So it depends on every one of us. We have to control our mind and we have to develop the desire to want to go, to be with Krishna. Krishna, it's not that Krishna makes a distinction, oh, I only like these people, I don't like that people, I only like black people, I don't like white people, I only like Nepali people, I don't like South Indian people. No. So everyone should become a devotee. Every devotion of for Krishna is in everyone. Somebody has material desires, many material desires, and somebody else doesn't have hardly a material desire. Somebody wants to get mukti, want to get liberation, and somebody else, they just want to worship Krishna. So everybody can get what they want simply by serving the Supreme Lord. Krishna, Krishna is in the heart of everyone. He knows what we're thinking. He knows what we desire. So Prahlad Maharaj tells Lord Nishringadev, he said, I have many material desires, one after another. Yeah, Prahlad Maharaj, Vajinashimadeva, you want to know what's working? 
हेरे कतिपति भौतिक इच्छा हेरे So because of my material desires, I was falling into the well, a blind well full of snakes. This is the position of most of the people in the world. They, they all have many, many material desires and they're just trying to fulfill their desires. So Prahlad Maharaj said, I was also like them, but Narada Muni saved me. He took me, he, he accepted me as his disciple and he taught me about the real goal of life. So Prahlad says, I, sh I cannot give him up, I cannot leave him. My duty is to serve him. So Prahlad Maharaj is showing the mood of a real good devotee. He is grateful to his spiritual master. We learn from this that we cannot, we should not go directly to Krishna, but we should serve the spiritual master. By serving the spiritual master, then we will come to Krishna. Right. Naratam Das Thakur says, Tandara Charana Seva Bhakta Sanivas Janami Janami Habi Ab Abilas. He said, just simply serve the devotees birth after birth. Right. Lord Chaitanya also said, Gopi Bhartu Padakamala or Das Das Anudas. Be the servant of the servant of the servant of the gopis. We cannot go directly to Krishna and just be Krishna's servant. We must serve the devotee. By the mercy of the spiritual master, we get the mercy of Krishna. Because it's the spiritual teachers, the great devotees, they give us the, the seed of devotion, they, they give us bhakti, they awaken the bhakti in us. So we're, we're, we have a debt to them. Guru Hmm. So our first business is to serve the spiritual teacher and then when we please the spiritual teacher then we can approach Krishna. Right. 
गुरुको सेवा गर्नु पर्छ गुरुलाई खुसी बनाउनु पर्छ र बला हामीलाई कृष्णको कृपा मिल्न सक्छ र कृष्ण मिल्न सक्छ सो प्रहलाद महाराज ही नोज दिस ही सेड आई कैन नेभर गिव अप माय गुरु टू आई सेड आई जस्ट वांट टू बी द सर्वेंट ऑफ माय गुरु र प्रहलाद महाराज सही था छ अनि प्रहलाद महाराज जी भन्नु हुन्छ कि मैले मेरो गुरुलाई त्यति आग्न सक्दिन मैले चाहिँ गुरुको सेवा पूरा गुरुको सेवा गर्न पर्छ भन्ने भन्नुहुन्छ जस्ट जस्ट टुडे आई वाज रीडिंग अबाउट टू गॉड ब्रदर्स वन गॉड ब्रदर वन गॉड सिस्टर हु लेफ्ट द बॉडी recently and both and okay ramayatle um as a pardon jo ki ek jana mata ji prabhat sishya ra prabhat sishya jo nuncha maharaj ke guru bhai ra guru bani ho aile chhari gadnu bhayo maybe some of you have even seen bhakti madhurya govinda maharaj who he came to bangkok a few times tara प्रभुपा because that is the thinking of a devotee that they want to serve the guru ra aaki jo hununcha ma chai mata ji hununcha wa pani prabhat ke trishya hununcha ra wa hale sari sari tyagnu bhayo ra tyage ra chai bhakta ile chai ke prarthana garchan ta man lai keri wa hiru prabhat singe gaye ra prabhat prabhat ke seva gari rakhnu bhayeko cha bhanne ule wa hale chai prarthana garnu chha yo chai bhakta her ko euta gun ho The scriptures say that you can never repay the debt to the spiritual master. Ra, sastra hai ma chhe yeh lekhe kuch ho hari ki ki hamen le jo debt chhe debt bani kuch hai kars kars lai koi le guru ko kars na koi le bani chukao na sakte na. So that's why the devotee is always thinking just let me engage in the service of my spiritual master. Ra bhakta le cha hamesha ye sochcha hari ki unhe ko vichar ma hamesha ye huncha hari ki maile hamesha mere guru maharaj ke seva garna paam bhanne. So we serve the spiritual master in this life and we go on and serve him in the next life also. Ra यो जीवन पनि हामीले हामीको गुरुलाई सेवा गर्नु पर्दछ र अर्को जीवनमा पनि यसरी नै गर्नु पर्दछ डिवोटी इज ह्यापी जस्ट टु हैव द एसोसिएशन विथ अनदर डिवोटी र एउटा भक्त चाहिँ अरु अरु भक्तहरुको सँग पाउन नै खुसी हुन्छ डिवोटी अलवेज थिंक्स I'm not qualified. I'm not worthy to go back to Krishna. I need to do more service for my guru. Ra bhakta hai jese hamesha yo sachan ki ma se yogya chhai na bhagwan singa wapas jana ko lagi mere ke gun chhai na wapas bhagwan singa jana ko lagi. If se mere guru lai ne seva karna chahiye bhagwan se sochna padta. If we have not faithfully served the order of our guru, then how can we go back to Krishna? वाणी The vapu is the physical presence, and the vani is instruction. So one may serve the body, or one may serve the instruction. The guru la hamesha agar paye na bani, di ta jini sunsun guru ke ata vapu ra ata vani. Vapu bani ko se vapu shari na bani bani vapu ya. The body of the guru is not eternal. You cannot expect to always be able to be with the body of the spiritual master. 
शरीर शरीर अर्क बानी अगर शरीर को सेवा कर सकन वाणी को सेवा कर सकता और वाणी को सेवा कर सकन बापू को सेवा कर बापू से हमेशा के होता तो भादा खेल मुन्न Shri Lal Prabhupada described, he met his spiritual master only four or five times. He was initiated in 1933. His spiritual master departed from the world 1936. So Prabhupada did not get much opportunity to associate with his guru. But that is not very important. The, the Chaitanya Charitamrita describes one moment association with a pure devotee is enough to give us all perfection. Well, Chaitanya Charitamrita says, Sadhu Sangi, Sadhu Sangi, Sarva Shastra Koi, Lava Matra Sadhu Sangi Sarva Siddhi Goi. Lava Matra means one eleventh of a second. Yeah, uh, one eleventh, 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 We have to be very genuine. We have to really want to follow the order of the spiritual teacher. Just like sometimes the the bug or the insect will sit on the body of the pure devotee so the bug is there it's on the body of the pure devotee it may sit there a long time but his business is only biting and sucking the blood But Srila Prabhupada said, he never, although he did not get much association with his guru, he said he was always remembering his instructions. Prabhupada said, my Guru Maharaj was always with me, by my side, leading me. And he was always careful to follow whatever instructions his Guru Maharaj had given him. So Prahlad Maharaj says how Lord Narsingadev killed his father, but he saved Prahlad. Prahlad Maharaj said, my father was going to kill me. He was asking me, if there's some, if there's some powerful person better than me, have him come and save you. Prahlad Maharaj said, 
And Prahlad's father said, I'm going to cut your head off from your body. I'm, he was telling his own son, he said, I'm going to cut your head off from your body. So Prahlad Maharaj says to Lord Nishringadev that he said, you saved me and you killed him. And you did this because you wanted to prove the words of your devotee to be true. Krishna always likes to keep the words of his devotees true. Just like Lord, Lord Damodar came and delivered Nala Kuvera and Mani Griva because Narada Muni said that the Lord will come here and he will deliver you. So Haranyi Kashipu and uh, uh, rather um, the two sons of Kuvera, Nala Kuvera and Mani Griva, they were not devotees. But Lord Damodar came there because Narada Muni wanted him to give mercy, wanted Lord Damodar to give mercy to them. So he came there. In the same way Krishna promised that his devotee would never perish. So Lord Nusringadev came to save Prahlad. Sorry, Maharaj, can you repeat that again for me? Yeah, that Lord Nusringadev came to save Prahlad Maharaj because the Lord had promised, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, my devotee will never perish. And when, when Prahlad was in the womb, his mother was taken to the ashram of Narada Muni. So at that time, the, his mother, Prahlad's mother, prayed that, please protect my son, that don't let any harm come to my son. So Prahlad Maharaj said, yes, definitely, we won't let any harm come to your son. So uh, 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 Narada Muni had promised that nothing would happen to Prahlad Maharaj. So when Haranyakashipu was going to kill Prahlad Maharaj, then Lord Nishringadev had to come. And so Lord Nishringadev came, he killed Prahlad Maharaj, he killed Harani Kashipu, and he brought great pleasure, he gave causeless mercy to Prahlad. 
And he showed how the devotee, Narada Muni, that his words are always true. He doesn't lie. The Supreme Lord, he doesn't have to do anything. He doesn't have to work. He doesn't have a job. He doesn't need a job. But he he does everything through his different energies. And when he does something personally, then he does that just for the pleasure of his devotees. So the Lord always favors, he's always very much in, to support his devotees. Because Narada Muni is a great servant, he does a lot of preaching work, he makes many devotees, so he's very dear to the Lord. So, that's why the Lord keeps his words true. Okay, we will stop. Hare Krishna. Is there any question, quick question? Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, I have one question. Yeah, huh? Mataji, one of the Shana Buddha, the Lakh, Java, Narad Munile, who will get Dijana Kere, Dijana Chorali, Sarah Binuba, Mada, Mari Bavaro. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Some by Ginagi Narad Munigo, some Hare Krishna. And you, Bitama Gai Guru, who will get Dijana Chorali, Narad Munigo. Ah, <laughs> Sorry for the delay. Maharaj, Bhagavatam Prabhuji is asking that when this Damu, when Nala Kuvera and Mani Kririva were taking bath, that time some ladies were present also. And at that time when Narad Muni came, these ladies were present at that time. So why only the, the, the Mani Greva and Nala Kuvera got his mercy and not the females? And why they got the causeless mercy of Lord Damodar? Only them. Why not the other females member? Why they, why they did not got the mercy from the Lord Damodar? Why only the, um, the sons of Kuberas? Well, 
Remember that the ladies, they tried to cover their bodies. When Narada Muni came, they felt ashamed and they covered their bodies. So they didn't get cursed like the two sons of Kuvera. And remember, Narada Muni is a brahmachari, so he's not going to preach to these women. But he can send them, he can tell them, you know, he, they were fortunate that they saw him, they got darshan of Narada Muni and they covered their bodies. So you, you don't know, Narada Muni probably told them, you go and take association, find some saintly woman and they will guide you. Just like sometimes, you know, you're, we're doing some program, traveling, preaching, and we have programs, and sometimes young women come and they want to join, they want to be with the men. So we tell them, okay, you go to the temple, you go, you can't come with us because we're traveling, we're not staying in the temple, we're traveling, but there's a temple and we'll send them to the temple, you go, you can stay at the temple, you'll get association there. <laughs> You can't expect Narada Muni to be, you know, taking care of these women. But just be, because they got darshan of him, so then they they got a good purification. Then it's up to them. From that point on, you know, they have independent, what are they going to do? They have to decide. Are they going to continue with their behavior, you know, going naked and enjoying with men who are drunk? Or are they going to stop that habit? No, they were partly responsible that because they were they were going they were there naked with the men and so they were encouraging the men in these sinful activities. But after seeing the two men cursed to become trees, then they'll be more careful, hopefully, after that. Just like, you know, you see somebody steal and they get caught and they get put in jail. So then you know you don't want to steal. 
So the same way these two women they got they got a good lesson by seeing the two men cursed to become trees. So that was Narada Muni's mercy to them. Does it make sense? Okay, thank you very much. So we hope you have, are you having Govardhan Puja tomorrow? Yes, Maharaj. We okay. are having at home. Okay. And some devotees are celebrating today also. And uh, tomorrow we will have uh, some devotees celebrating again, Maharaj. Okay. Very good. Did somebody... Uh, Maharaj, there is one question from the Krishna Prabhuji. From who? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj Ji. Dhanavar Pranam Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Who is this? Sri Krishna Prabhuji. Jeev Krishna. Mata Ji, Mirror Prasna Jini, Jasari Pralad Maharaj, or a Mahan Bokta Unju, justly Garba Mabani, Narad Muniko Song Prapta Gordon with you. On his Narad Munias list to burst of Mahan Bhavan, who forms the Bokala Malik, Hapna Achari, Abus Guru, and his Tapana Gordon with you. On Kiri, Wali, Jasari. पूर्व जसरी अहिले हामीले कुनै कार्य गर्दा भगवानको कुनै सेवा भक्ति गर्दा गर्दै पनि अधुरो योगी भयो भने अर्को जना उले राम्रो भक्त हो घरमा जन्म लिन्छ वैष्णव परिवारमा लिन्छ भन्नुहुन्छ नि शास्त्र भएन अनि प्रहलाद महाराज त्यस्तो गर्वमा देखि नै नारद मुनि जस्तो परम भक्तको शिक्षा गुरु प्राप्त गर्नु भएको थियो अनि जन्मे देखि बाट उहाँले जति पनि असुरका छोरा छोरीलाई पनि भगवानको भक्ति मार्ग सिकाउनु भएको थियो तर उहाँ चाहिँ के कारणले असुरको कुलमा प्रकट भएर आउनु भयो अरु पनि केही कारण छ कि या त जन्म लिन्न परेको कृष्ण comes to this world he chooses his parents he chooses his uh, devotees as uh, the most purified devotees as his parents like in case of prahlad maharaj he got he got a, like he's so pure that since his, he was in the womb of his mother he got association of his spiritual master who is such a great devotee like narad muni and uh, Why, but why he had to come in the family of a demon well these these demons these two demons remember they're very special demons they come from the spiritual world ra in jo dui jana rakshas hun ei rakshas ta ke hun ta bhanna kheri pura special rakshas hun are Uh, 
they were they had come they, and they were these two demons were the sons of Kashyapa and Diti. So Kashyapa he's a powerful Brahmana. So the birth is actually, you know, the, the plus the father was, you know, the father Harani Kashipu was very powerful and very, very intelligent also. Although he was a demon, he was very powerful and he had a lot of knowledge. So Prahlad Maharaj took birth there because Lord Krishna is showing us that even you're born in the demon family, you can become devotee. The, the birth is not very important. What's important is how you use your life. So Prahlad Maharaj, although he's born in the demon family, you see, in his previous life he was also not very good. That Prahlad Maharaj in his previous life he was a degraded Brahmana. And he had a girlfriend and he, he, they, they had a quarrel and they argued with each other the whole night. And you know, when you have a girlfriend and you argue, you don't feel like eating, you lose your appetite. So the two of them, they fasted the whole night. And that place where they were fasting, that happened to be a temple. And that night they were fasting, that was the appearance day of Lord Nishringadev. So that's how Prahlad, Prahlad took birth. Uh, sorry, Maharaj. That's how Prahlad Maharaj became the son of Harani Kashipu. Okay, so we'll stop here tonight. So we hope you have any. Maharaj, uh, there's a short question. He's asking that uh, without, um, he actually didn't know that Govardhan Puja was uh, tomorrow, so today he celebrated. And some uh, devotee was asking that if you're uh, saying, was quoting that if today you celebrate, then 
it is not good something like that so is it my right is it bad to celebrate today no it's okay it... no i never heard anything bad but i also other places they also celebrate it today ela aru aru jagah ma pani aaja govardhan puja manaye ka chhan ari prabhu ji not a problem do when is convenient yeah Many people have to work tomorrow. Not everybody is free. Nothing wrong in that. Hare Krishna. Okay, thank you, Maharaji. Thank you for your translation. Thank you very much, Maharaj, for giving us your association weekly. Thank you very much. Okay, Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Go back to Vrinda ki jai.